Okay, so something happened not too long ago, and I was completely surprised. I was I didn't expect to see this news coming across the internet, man. And that was you and game squash your beef. Yep, shout out to Game, shout out to Magic, G Magic, 88 Avalon, shout out to Lil Shit, and Cartoon from Fly Trey. Um, you know, I imagine what the part of it that would be considered beef has been over with. Game ain't showed me no attention, negative or positive in so long. Um, however, because I've been on the internet reacting to headlines, keeping up with the majority of the headlines that are in our culture, I've sp spoken on him far more often than he even paid me any attention. So although I have, I hold no real ill will toward him, I'm just of a cloth where I keep things where they left off. So if his name came up, instead of me being more mature about it, I would just felt like I'm committed to talking about him the way I spoke about him last time he was somewhat relevant. And so I will always take a trolling perspective and not really care to do anything other than that. And recently I pulled up in the uh, Avalon Gardens to highlight cartoon and G Magic didn't like it based on his relationship with game and my dynamic with game. And without going into whole much detail, it was a whole lot of potential extra she knit that could have took place had I just stood firm. And then when I just had to take a good analyze about who I was becoming involved, the reason why I'm even having this tension with game, who I can admit was once a friend of mine, I just thought as a man, the wisest thing to do was to see where G Magic was coming from because he was willing to make peace. It wasn't like you, it's over with. No, don't come in my projects. We ain't cool with you no matter what. It was like, if you're not with peace, then I don't want to tolerate it. So I had to respect that. And I had people on my side and on his side that was willing to stand with me, whether I made peace or not. And him as well, I'm sure. So I just thought back as a wiser man to reopen communication with G Magic and let him know that I thought it would be far better for us to bury that hatchet than to investigate what the other route would have to offer. And to be honest, it feels way better to not feel like when game name come up, I'm obligated to troll him then to not have that energy, to not have a like G Magic and what comes with him feeling negatively toward me because the game feels a lot better. You guys get on the phone. Yeah, we I spoke on the phone. Him, myself, uh, like I say, the homie Shug from Avalon, my G homie Big Spider, and my homie Crypt Dog from Q102. We all had a conference call. Okay. And the part about bearing the hatchet was very sm short. A call that maybe last 15 minutes, we talked about, about two or three. Then it was some catching up and a lot of positive exchanges, and that was about it. Okay, anything since then? You guys got any plans or anything like no, that? No, you know, I don't know. I'm suspicious. I've been being a little too disrespectful to game over the years for him to want to explore anything beyond that. I think basically what we established is if we do happen to bump into each other unexpectedly, we don't have to worry about it, how we feel about each other. But I don't really anticipate him looking to be any closer or cooler with me than I might have f***ed that off. Ah, uh, okay, I see. I just think it's a more of a respect thing that, you know, last 15 years, there's been an energy um, between us and our sides that, like, you know, telling what's going to happen when we see each other. And, you know, based on, like, G Magic went to elementary school with my brother and some of my G homies, and the relationships go so far back. I start thinking the origin of my problems with the game and all that, it just wasn't that important. It wasn't that deep. I mean, you guys kind of fell out over 50 Cent and G-Unit, and that's, both of you guys haven't been linked to 50 and G-Unit in so long. So when you do the math, you know, you know what, what sense would it make to hold on to anything that originated there? And then look what's at risk for the future. It's just, it didn't, you know, it didn't make sense when I weighed up. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, man, for sure. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.